Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Lena Simple G and this time I bring you an excited video about Warframe. Now, in this video, I'll be fighting the idol with Garuda. Now, Garuda came out as being the vampire Warframe. She uh, sucks the life of the enemies, there's blood everywhere. So, at first glance, I was like, how is she going to fight against the idol because of this massive creature? But, let's look at her abilities. First of all, we have Dread Mirror. Dread Mirror is actually pretty cool because it can suck the life out of the enemies. I mean, you can attack the Boundless or Grenier that you want to create this shield. Now, this shield is not exactly like the one of Bolt, but I'm not really sure how much damage mitigation it does. It doesn't feel like it stops every attack from the enemy that comes directly at you. It does seem to mitigate a kind of damage, but I don't think it works exactly like a, a wall like the Volt has. Still, it is a good ability to have because the Eidolon gets to attack a lot with lasers and also the Valvolus, so it is a nice ability to have. Also, every damage that you do and it gets trapped around in the mirror, you can then use it uh, like Kamehameha Ball to uh, throw at enemies and it does have a relatively good AoE and you actually can do this against the Valvolus. But I didn't because there's another ability that actually works better which I'll talk more ahead. Now our second ability is Blood Altar, and this is one that is really, really good. Blood Altar essentially traps an enemy with his claws, and it creates an area that heals every Ateno in it, every Warframe, but also every ally. So, don't quote me on this, but I think this is working with lures. If the lure is next to you while you're in this area, the lure is actually getting healing while it's in the area. Because in the description it says it helps NPCs also, so I'm pretty sure it also helps to keep the lures alive. At least I had no problems keeping the lures alive with it. The problem is, it just doesn't move with you. If you come out of the area of the, where the blood altar is, it will not heal the lures, and then also, it, of course, it will not heal yourself. The third ability is Bloodletting. Now, Bloodletting essentially sacrifices her life to get energy back. It can be useful if you have a big health pool, but if not, I will discourage you from using this. You can just use, use your pads on the ground to give yourself energy to use your abilities, then using this ability. You can even change it in the helmet system with another one, but right now, against the island, I wouldn't advise using this because, you know, your survival ability is really important against this big enemy. Now our last ability is Seeking Talents, and this was the actual ability that won me over when she came out. Because it depends essentially what it is, it's Ash's Blaze Storm, but with a line of sight, the attack. Imagine she creates this big area in front of her, and she throws her daggers, and her daggers kills instantly everything that is around her, or at least it does also slash damage. Now this is really really cool to clear enemies, to clear aggro, and to clear Valvolus that are help either helping the Eidolon, or in the end, you know, giving out energy. You can just put this on the ground if you have Blood Altar also with you. You can use this and Blood Letting. Uh, so the three of them are all combined. It's actually a very good frame in any mission because it, it can uh, synergize all her abilities. But against the island, it can use her abilities to clear out the boundless that much faster, which is really, really cool. So all in all, with all this said, Garuda is actually good fighting the island. I mean, she's not OP, she's not the meta of the thing, but she's actually better than most fighting the Eidolon, especially because of her Blood Altar and her Seeking Talents. The Dread Mirror, I also use it, I think it works, but don't quote me on this because I'm not sure if it mitigates that this match. Still, it's a really fun Warframe, it's really fun to fight the Eidolon with her, and I enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this run of the, all, all the Warframes that I've tried. This is the, one of the better ones, one that I had most fun using. So, watch until the end of your point to see what I got. The build that I use is at the end. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And as always, have a great game, guys.
Baltic on victory. Act now. 